Today we're going to have a look at how to create a measure up in ARCHICAD importing a sketch. In this case it's a real estate drawing of a house which means it's definitely not accurate or to scale uh, but ideally this could be a sketch that you've created for a design and it's probably not resolved. It might have been done by hand, might have been freehand or it might have been drafted but it's again probably not completely resolved. So we're going to trace over the top of this but in order to trace over the top of it we're going to have to make a lot of design decisions and adjust a lot of these sizes as we're going. I'm going to flip this upside down uh, so the, the names are all going to be backwards but that's because the numbers will be the right way up so I can read the numbers, the dimensions as I'm going. Hopefully, hopefully I can read them. The next thing that we're going to do is it's going to be very difficult for me to be able to trace over with a black wall over a black walled drawing. So at the moment I opened up a new file for this and it's only got one story. So we're going to go into the story settings, right click story settings and I'm going to create a new story above this. While I'm here I'm actually going to set this up properly. I've done this before but good practice. AHD, Australian height datum. Insert above, what are we going to call this? This will be terrain. Insert above, ground floor. Insert above, first floor. Insert above, roof. AHD, we start at zero, keep it at zero because it's only a, a reference file. Terrain, this all depends on the topography of the site. So once you have a survey for a project, uh, you hopefully have seen me do this before, then we'll, in, we'll know what height this is, but for now we could just make it a number. So maybe I'll start with 10 meters for now. Ground floor, two first floor, let's make that three meters for now. First floor to roof, let's call that 2700. And then roof, we don't really need to have any height to next, but it's good to, to keep it as a, a number anyway, just to give the roof height. Okay. We're up on the roof floor, and we left our trace down on AHD, generally where it should go. So in order to be able to see this, I'm going to go up to my terrain, or up to my ground, and then right-click, show us trace reference, in order to be able to see what's underneath. And depending on how clearly I need to see it, or uh, if I'm not being able to see it clearly enough, I can change my reference color. In this case, maybe something like red, or maybe something like green, or blue is going to be a bit clearer to be able to see what we want to do. So let's use red for now. The other thing that we need to do before we get started tracing is check that it's the scale. Now sometimes this can be difficult, we also see that it's not quite straight. So in order to rotate this to make it straight, because I don't want to trace something that's on a weird angle, I'm going to find the longest wall and use that as my reference. So in this case I'll use this side wall here, edit, move, rotate, and I'm going to click the bottom right hand corner, click the top right hand corner, so out of alignment and then put it into alignment. So I'm going to hold shift or follow this reference line which is giving me a straight line. Now my file image import is going to be on an angle but ideally the drawing is straight now and that's more important. The next thing I need to do is scale. To scale it up or scale it down, just because we import something it doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be bringing it into scale. So I'm just going to quit that. So how do we check to see if it's to scale? Again, in the same way, we try to find something that's the longest number we've got available. So in this case, down in this kitchen family room area, I measured that this wall from here to this wall here was 7770. So I'm going to select the file, edit, reshape, resize. I want to define graphically in this case because I don't know what percentage ratio it is. I'm going to click on one of these walls. So it doesn't really matter where I do it. I'm just going to click here. And then I'm going to click on one of these walls. But in order to be able to line that up, I'm going to hold Shift again to keep my line straight. That allows me to move my cursor up and align this with where I want it to be. Click, move out 
stretch it. I could stretch it till it says 7770, but it's going to be very hard to actually get it to stay at that real number. So instead, I'm going to type it in 7770, enter. And that's now resized that particular line and therefore hopefully everything else. Now again, like I said, this is a real estate drawing used for the purposes of marketing. And so it's never truly to scale. And in order therefore to, to draw something up, uh, draw up an existing house for an alterations and additions, for instance. Having this is really helpful to understand, uh, but you could never rely solely on the dimension. So I've dimensioned the internal of this house myself, uh, but again, this is really only just to play with. To do this properly, I'd actually want to get a surveyor's file as well, which should give me a, a more realistic understanding. So we see that this is supposed to be 4,270. I'm measuring the internal at 4350 and that's again probably just likely due to the fact that the real estate drawing is a bit of a guess rather than real. All right I'm going to stop now because I've been a, a while doing this first video. In the next video we're going to start straight away with tracing over uh, what we've got using our wall tool straight away if we can and where we're not quite sure maybe using some lines as some construction lines for references.